Classic Sunday Night Baseball on ESPN. You Darvish has struck out five tonight. Hey, Ian, one of the things I want to ask you is that you Darvish is very deliberate on the mound. He takes his time between pitches. Yes, he does. Do you have to find yourself, you have to keep yourself sharp in that circumstance, or is it uh, just like anybody else on the mound? No, it's definitely a little bit different, but I think a lot of it is taking some mental breaks in between. Oh boy! What do you mean by that in terms of when, when Darvish pitches? Well, there's so much time in between pitches that you have to do a good job of, uh, you know, not staying locked in for every single second, or you could be could be 40 seconds in between pitches. You only get so many windows in this game to really be completely and totally locked in. Speaking of windows, I'm assuming you're a Steeler fan if you grew up in Pittsburgh. Actually, Browns. My uh, my dad what? my dad was from uh, Cleveland. He grew up there. So even though I grew up in Pittsburgh, I was rooting against the Steelers most of the time. That's, I did not see that coming. Like Jim Brown, Bernie Kosar, <laughs> those kind of. <laughs> Golf was my big second sport. So a lot of Tiger Woods growing up. My dad worked for the United States Golf Association. Um, he was an agronomist, so he would set up those events uh, and do pin placements and take care of the grass. And he basically went to golf courses and told them what to do with their grass. Grass expert. I'm gonna go ahead. You like it? You like it? Yeah, I mean, it's great in the summer, but the atmosphere is awesome. You know, with 40,000 every night. Doesn't matter if it's Tuesday or Saturday. It don't matter. Huh? No, day yeah. games here are awesome. Nice place. Yeah, downtown. yeah, downtown. and living here is awesome too. Yeah. But the best part is, you know, we play so many day games, you can go out to eat and be a normal person. What has been the most difficult part about the 2020 season without fans, different protocols on the road? What's been the hardest thing for you? Yeah, I think it's just uh, normal life. I think not being able to go out to eat or to do anything away from the ballpark. I, I think just um, being only able to go home into the park and not being able to do the normal things that you see, I think that's difficult. It's mentally challenging. Um, shortness of the season is obviously tough, but uh, walking by a restaurant and not being able to even fathom what that looks like, that's tough. If you want a funny clip, I can't. I think it was probably 2017. I thought I, uh, I thought I hit a triple in that corner against the Pirates. I was going for the cycle, I needed a triple, and I hit it into that corner and you can't see it very well. And Starley Marte was out there, and so I was trucking, and he caught it, I didn't see it, and you'll see me just flying, standing up at third base, looking over going, I can't believe he caught that ball. Our third, our third base coach was looking at me like, what are you doing? Thanks guys, can't wait to see you make fun of me a couple innings later with that clip. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. Click it. Just click it, it's right there.